Hey everybody, Marcus Shan here. Hey, I'm really excited to share with you a case study with my good friend and client, Christian, who went from struggling as an appointment center at BDR to joining our program, absolutely crushing that role, getting promoted to an AE role, and then closing over $700,000 in about seven months time. Keep watching and enjoy. Hey everybody, Marcus Shan here. Hey, I'm very excited to have my, my good friend and client, Christian Para. He's here to share some awesome success he's had in our program. So Christian, why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourself? Awesome, Mark, as well. Thank you, first of all, for having me and doing this interview with me. Uh, my name is Christian Para. I'm 28 years old, and I am an account executive and working with an agency where we help business owners pretty much sell online courses and create online courses. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. I'm, ex I'm excited to have you here, man. You've been having a lot of success. So now before we dive into your success and... You know, uh, before you joined our program, what was some mm -hmm. of the challenges or problems you were already into before you joined our program? Uh, well, just to give you a little a little context on, on what the hell was happening up to just, just before joining the program. Um, well, I was actually at my role for, how do we go, almost like five years, right? It's my first role in sales. Always, always wanted to work in sales. Always wanted to get into the industry, like professional sales, right? And um, I ended up, in, at, at, at this company and being an appointment setter at the time, you would think, okay, five years into it, you, you will learn a thing. Not really. I mean, I was going through tons of books, YouTube, uh, attending like seminars even of like personal development, which I love, I still love, but my results really didn't, I mean, they, they were just stagnant to be specific. I mean, I, I was just an appointment setter pretty much for like freaking almost five years. Right. And, um, that's really where I, where I came from up to joining the program. And, and in terms of like, what was the biggest problem there is that obviously my income wasn't increasing. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. my, 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 my income wasn't increasing. I mean, it was just the same, same, sorry to say the same bullshit every single year. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, it, there, were the, there, there was a point where I reached where I was like, okay, like well, what's, what's next? Like, am I just going to be an appointment center for the rest of my career, the rest of my life? Do I see myself like just this kind of person, this salesperson? Was that the reason why I got into this industry? Because don't get me, I mean, I'm not sure about you guys, but for me, I wanted to get in sales. I, I saw myself being a professional, right? And to me, making like 40K or like 30K <laughs> year after year, what the hell do you do with that, right? So uh, the problem was at that point, just being real to myself and just realizing that, okay, I, I just got to go to the next level. That, that was... That, that, that was the biggest problem there at that point. Mm, well, I give you major kudos, right? Because, you know, Christian, some people never get to that point. They just keep repeating. They might even stay in sales for 20, 30 years. But the truth yeah. is they end up repeating, you know, one year, 20 times instead. So, you know, mm -hmm. when you were looking to, you know, you know, join programs, why did you choose our program to be specific? So a couple of things. I, I, and I, I don't. I haven't shared this with you. I mean, a couple of months into the program, but to me, it was just that I played sports growing up, soccer. I'm a huge soccer fan. I actually wanted to become a professional athlete, like a professional soccer player. Long story short, my, my parents, they were not able to afford it. And, uh, but what something that I took away, at least from those moments was that I had this coach that really believed in me and he kept me playing these games at the time. It was, um, it was a private, it was a private soccer team, right? He kept me playing these games. He kept me playing right week in, week out. And it was really because of my work ethic. It wasn't really because of like <laughs> my, my skills, <laughs> Um, and and the, the reason I share that is because to me, like having that mentor at the time, which was my soccer coach, we're talking when I was like 14, 15, 16 years old, right? Um, it, 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 it gave me a little bit of a taste of what real mentorship was it's like and what a, what a coach that actually knows what they're talking about, it's like. But also, it was more about like, there's just, just for reference for you guys, I mean, I've always loved the personal development industry. There's so many coaches, so many speakers out there that want to have students. They want to have, they want to grow their business, this and that, but they're not really meant to be coaches. Not everybody is meant to be a coach. Mm -hmm. And when I came across Marcus and his content and the way that he just delivered and the way that he talked about his students, most of all, and the way that most importantly to me is that the way that students actually spoke about him, mm -hmm. I was like, oh shit, 
<laughs> he's like he's he's definitely like he's 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 up there compared to like the the regular coaches that are down here nothing i don't want to play down other coaches but to me there there's a magic in being an actual coach an actual teacher and an educator and motivator and most importantly a leader so that's that's something that i those are kind of the traits that i that st- stood out for me Mm. Just, just being real there. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. That's awesome, yeah. man. And, and you're spot on, right? Because at, at the end of the day, um, there are other sales coaches out there. And, you know, frankly, some of them never actually carried the bag in the job. Maybe they got into coaching. But if they get into coaching, can they even teach it effectively and coach effectively, right? Because that takes a skill set as well. You know, and even if they were a top performer, can, tr- can they transcend their skills from one person to another, which is also another yeah. skill as well. So and, oh, go ahead, yeah. And the last thing, I mean, and, and to add on to that, not everybody has the patience. Like mm. I've had former like bosses and, and people that I've known, like supposedly coaches, <laughs> mm. but they don't, I mean, I, I, I can, you can see it in their energy. You can see how they communicate. They don't have the patience. And that's something that at least prior to joining the program, it seemed I'm like, okay, Marcus seems like he's like, it's like a, like a father figure, more than a father figure. Cause he's like, you just seem very patient up to what I saw right before joining the program. And I was like, that, that, that really, really spoke to me. Cause I was just hesitant of like, not looking stupid. <laughs> yeah, not, not looking stupid with whatever questions that I may have had in, 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 in whatever I'm trying to improve. Totally. No, I appreciate that. I still need to work on my patience. So that's, that's my wife tells me. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, yeah. it's always different outside the house, right? So hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, for you, so once you got in the program, um, you know, what was there anything in particular that was really it really helped you the most or was most effective for you? Uh, so first of all, obviously the, 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 the system, the system, the frameworks, just having clarity on something to rely on that's been battle tested on, on, on battle tested and, and meant to get results. Right. And we're talking about now specifically about the, the program and what it's actually given to me. It's, it's a, uh, Yes, it's one thing, the training platform, the frameworks. Again, these are step-by-step blueprints to, to really just improve my sales system and, and, and my process and know what the hell I'm, I'm going to be doing for the, for, for the day, for the week, yeah. for the month. Yeah. And uh, that, that, to me, that spoke wonders, right? That's the first part. The second part is being able to utilize those frameworks, that content, that again, it was battle tested. It's been battle tested to get results. Being able to implement that into my sales process, because look, I mean, everybody thinks that okay, a coaching program or or or, or a course, it's it's meant to be specifically to you. I mean, it's not supposed to be specifically to you. <laughs> you got to be paying fifty, a hundred thousand dollars or something like that if you want that kind of customization. But that program is battle tested for any industry. So. Using that and then and then being able to test it out, going out going out in the field on my own, getting feedback and then bringing that to to coaching, that was crazy. Because mm-hmm. again, like I said, because Marcus made me feel like I can trust them and just be myself and also just share because he had to me he had that patience. I took advantage of every freaking coaching call. Like, <laughs> and and he, he'll he'll probably attest to that. And 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 to be honest, he probably I felt like he might have gotten maybe annoyed, which I really didn't care at that point. I'm like, yo, I paid, I invested. I'm like, I'm gonna ask as many questions as I want because they never gave me a cap. Right on how many questions you should ask. True. So, <laughs> so when I joined, when I when I was part of these coaching calls, I, I came in with a loaded questions. I was not afraid of looking stupid anymore. I, 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 I my my line on the sand at that point was like, look, I'm gonna put my ego to the side. I still have my ego, but up to joining the coaching program, I was like, okay, based on my years in my career, I haven't gotten the results that I that I actually want. What's missing here? Or what's what's holding me back it was really my ego right and i put that to the trash <laughs> at least for my coach at least for my coaching call. at least for sales at least. <laughs> at, least, at, least, at, least, at least yeah exactly yeah. At, least, at least in terms of like trying to put it out all on the table to get the proper guidance and being able to mix the the, the trainings with the coaching and then um just taking action i mean it, it, it was it's been it's been a wild ride and still is uh, and you know the beautiful thing about this whole thing is that it just makes you bulletproof to anything in terms of your your career your skills that's that's one of the 
most beautiful things that I that nobody can take away from me. Actually, I love that, man. I mean, I love everything mm-hmm. you said too. And I think one of the greatest things you you, you mentioned in that uh, what you just said is, um, you know, you put the ego aside a lot of times. That's sometimes the hardest thing to do. To put it aside mm-hmm. and realize. But if you could, if you had the same you know, results, you're not happy with the year after year after year, there's only one common denominator. Exactly. So, so for you and I, and I, I love the, all the questions you had too, because you were like, I mean, you came prepared. I'm like, this, this guy wants it and he's doing the right. Thing. So for you, about how mm-hmm. long for, did it take you to see, you know, any type of results? So for me, and again, you might be asking the question, like, will this work for you? <laughs> Cause like somehow we think that we're like a magic fairy that, you know, we're special or we're really not. I mean, we, we just got to, like I said, put your ego down. So as soon as I did that, I got into the program. I, 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 I invested. I mean, I took care of everything, payments, contracts, whatever, got access to the trainings. I immediately, the first thing, again, this was based on my call with Marcus at the time was you got to be joining the coaching call. So for me, the first thing that I did was actually block out my Wednesdays specifically at that, you know, I, I believe we're uh, coaching calls are at 10, not at 10 o'clock or 12. Now I'm forgetting. Sorry. <laughs> um, Eastern time, Pacific time. Oh yeah. Totally. Yeah. Right. So, so I blocked, that's the first thing that I did block those coaching calls. And immediately that same night I was like, damn, I just invested in the coaching program. I'm like, I can't be waiting around to like the weekend. <laughs> To go through to go through the content i'm like let, let me get into the stuff like right now so started going to through the content downloaded the, the the frameworks the first thing for me was like important and and i don't care where you are in your in your in your space right now whether you're an enterprise seller selling this crazy tickets or whether you're an sdr just starting mentality mentality is everything so to me that was one of the first things that he required to finish in the modules and those were the things that I completed like within the first two, three days. Cause I, w- I was like, if I'm going to go through this whole program and if I don't at least get my mind straight, what, what, what's the use? So fast forward, signing up, uh, but uh, nighttime, I, I was downloading the resources, going through the trainings, I, uh, came into the coaching calls within about three, three weeks or so. I mean, I was already like, just, I, I had my frameworks down on, 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 uh, on how to go out and, and, and prospect by within a month, a month and a half, I would say I, I had a full pipeline. Mm. I had a full pipeline, like eight meetings booked. I was, again, I was selling $34,000 deals <laughs> and awesome. I was booking all these crazy meetings right off. Like never, I mean, I never did outbound. So I started getting, I just started filling out my pipeline. Like, again, I'm not, I wasn't talking to, I don't know, some <laughs> Bob from, from the library here. I was talking to <laughs> authors, speakers, consultants. And to me, not having a framework to go about that was something that, I mean, honestly, I was scared. But within like, a, like three weeks, uh, three weeks a month into the program, I had a full calendar, like eight meetings, which was $300,000 in qualified pipeline within, again, three to four weeks. Mm, I love that, man. I love mm-hmm. That's amazing. So uh, for you, about how long did it take for you to earn back your initial? I mean, already there. Because like uh, at that time, again, context here, because I was an SDR, I was qualifying meetings, but I got a percentage from whatever mm-hmm. pipeline that I was able to set up. And whatever closed, right? So within those three weeks, I already made my investment back. It's nuts. I love it, <laughs> I, well, the, the thing is, like, I knew that I was gonna make my investment back. I just wanna point that out. I knew that coming in because I'm like, I'm not here to play games. I need to get make my investment back. And out of 300 plus students that I saw in testimonials, I'm like, I can't just be the only magic fairy yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. what I love about that too is like. I could tell you came because you came to the calls. You had very specific questions. We would dive into it. We had follow ups, and that was so uh, because you were open to learning and understanding the situation. And it, it's of course it's why you had such, such fast success. So mm-hmm. you know, as a result of implementing the program you know, overall, now you've been in the program for uh, over six months. Um, yeah. What What was probably your proudest outcomes you've achieved? Proudest outcomes. How does that come? Uh, first of all, just feeling untouchable, mm. untouchable about my skills, untouchable about my, my mindset and having something that nobody can take away from me, whether again, I don't know if, wherever you are in your life, if you're watching this, whether you're married, single, divorced, I'm actually divorced. <laughs> um, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Cause like, this is a skill set that nobody can take away from you. You can go anywhere 
around the world or wherever you are and, and just implement this. It's, 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 it's that extreme confidence in, in, in knowing that all you got to do is just pick up the phone, set up a list, obviously knowing, how, knowing that you have a process, process and you're ready to print out cash and mm. you don't have to worry about money again. So that, that was a beautiful feeling. And then obviously everything that comes around it, empowerment, uh, empowerment on, 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 on knowing that you're in a, on, on, a, on, a, on a path, on a path to actually becoming a professional. Because um, I don't know about you guys, if you're watching this, but we all get into this industry or we, sometimes we fall into this industry because we got to make cash, right? I just want to point out for me, I always, I always saw sales as something beautiful. <laughs> And, and, but I wasn't successful. I mean, I, at least to the extent that I saw myself being and, and now fast forward where I am now, I'm just grateful that I'm able to have that real peaceful peace of mind, knowing that I'm, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Mm, I love that. So you get, you kind of answer, but it kind of get a little more detail, right? So, you know, when you think about just your, your life now today, mm-hmm. how has your life change since you know just having this type of really bulletproof confidence you have now specifically yeah and so i well first things first like i'm at so so right now i'm at, i'm working remote i'm working in south america i came down here because i wanted to spend time with my grandma um i'm super close to her right just to give you guys a little bit of context on where i am now and what i've kind of been able to accomplish right so that's the reason why i came down to south america to work spend time with her and luckily grateful because i have wi-fi that's all i need but throughout this process of improvement uh adding cash to my bank account and saving it up um at this point i i am living in a penthouse that's something that i had dreamed about i've always wanted for for, for years it's something personal to me, at least on, on, on the, um, on the external things, right. To me, that's, that, that has been, that had been something external of wanting to, to get, you know, to, 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 live, to live in a penthouse. I mean, this, this place is crazy. It's beautiful right now. I'm mean, like, this, this is like my, my little office, right. With multiple rooms around two floors, like an, another rooftop. I throw social events at that uh, uh, upstairs. I throw parties. I love to throw parties. That's something that I've always actually done in the past friends places now i get to do that on my own mm. um and just having that peace of mind that dude i'm in fucking control because <laughs> like like i'll tell i'll give you one example and i mean this is just a little piece on the, on the grand scheme of things right like uh, i i threw i threw a get together like three weeks ago and and uh somebody didn't bring their speaker right we already talked about supposedly this person bringing their speaker to, to the party you know Music creates everything mm-hmm. that, that, that doesn't bring it. I'm feeling like crap that day. I'm like, fuck, people are not having a good time. Next day, I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going to rely on any, anybody. I want to get my own speaker. Did you think twice after swiping my credit card? Just those little things mm-hmm. that I know that I'm in control no matter what. Right. Mm-hmm. And that applies to so many other things, as you guys can imagine. It's like buying, buying my mom a purse for her, for her birthday, a really nice, beautiful purse sending that over back to the States, not thinking twice about it. It's, it's amazing. It's just, again, these are like the little things that money can buy you. People might say money is not everything, but money, money moves everything. <laughs> money moves everything. Otherwise, otherwise what, what are we working for? It's just mm. a little piece to make your life even much better. Mm. I, I love that, right? That I, I remember growing up so poor and having checked mm-hmm. the price tag and everything, clipping coupons. And I just remember the, the same liberation you feel now. It's 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 an amazing feeling to just not to worry. I love that. So, I mean, where do you think you'd be right now if you hadn't taken action and joined our program? Truth. Um, the real truth here, it's, um, I mean, I, I really haven't shared it with you after all this time, but, um, I was actually, I was considering industries, even though I'm like, yes, I love, I love sales and everything, not industries. Let me, let me backtrack a little bit. I was considering our, my, my role in, in, in sales. Cause here's the thing. I mean, like my, for, my, 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 my boss, right. He gave me the, the freedom to go into the, and, and, and to start trying out closing deals. And it got to one, uh, to, to, to one point that he like revenue wasn't being, being collected. <laughs> 
that's just the truth. Revenue was just like deal, no deals were just happening. And and he at, at that point, he, he he said something to me that stood out for me at the time. And he was like, hey, maybe like, maybe it's better for you to stay at that role, like the appointment center and, and, and just keep running the system that we're running, which was he was handling the closing calls, right? Kind of the account executive at that point. And it really, it really put a, it, it, it really affected me because it made me really just question who I am. <laughs> it, it, it made me question who I am and, and what do I want to achieve? So at that point, I was like, oh, I got to do something. So where, where I would be, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would be in, 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 a, cl- in, in, um, in a closing sales. You probably wouldn't be in your penthouse either. <laughs> oh, so. absolutely not. I'd, I'd probably be in the shelter around the corner from here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate sharing that. So, you know, if yeah. there's someone, if, if, if there's someone out there who's watching this on the fence about joining our program, what would mm-hmm. you tell them? Uh, well, first of all, like, here's the thing. For, for all of us, it's going to be different. Uh, so for you, it's really just being real with yourself and, 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 and how Marcus says is like drawing a line in the sand mm-hmm. of what is it going to be for you? Because like, yes, the, the, the checks, the confidence, the systems, the processes, the, 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 that empowering lifestyle, that will happen regardless. Reg- I mean, not, 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 I'm sorry, regardless. Once you join, that will happen. It's not regardless. <laughs> that, that's once you join. But it, it's, it's knowing what the hell is going to just catapult you, you personally to the next level. And that just means like, what's going to make you just be like, you know what? I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm, I'm, I'm done making, I don't know, like a thousand bucks in commissions each or uh, closing nothing for the last three months. Or in some cases, it might be like, OK, I, I got to I got to close these big deals, like, but they're not as consistent each month. Consistency. Right. So what's it, what what is it really going to be for you that it's it's something that it has to emotionally impact you. Right. To be and. and to answer your question, I know I'm going around, uh, a little bit around, around here, but to 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 me, I, I'm not sure if you guys relate to this, but to me, my line on the sand right before joining the program, um, yes, it's a premium investment as it should, because you're trying to get this crazy results and you think it's gonna be like 20 bucks, you're crazy. <laughs> Shouldn't be watching this. Um, go back to reading books and yeah. watching courses. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Let's see, let's see how far that takes you in terms of getting results now, right? But anyways, um, to me, my line in the sand was like, stop being a bitch. <laughs> That's what went internally in my mind because I was thinking about, I'm like, there's this program, there's these students, there's these results being shown left and right. I cannot be the only fairy that won't be able to attain something like that. So why, why am I bitching here? Really? Why, why, why am I bitching? Like, yes, sure. It's, it, it was an investment to me. I actually asked my friend to, 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 to lend me the cash. <laughs> um, but I knew that I was going to put in the work, right? So that's something that for you to figure out in terms of what is, what is it really going to take for you to just say, that's enough. That's enough. So to me, it was just like, yo, stop, stop, just stop being a bitch. Like, <laughs> you want to live all this lifestyle that you that you that you think you deserve, you think you deserve, you think mm. you want, and you're not willing to invest in yourself. Like, stop playing games. Mm. I think it's so powerful, right? Because uh, you know, you did what so many are unwilling to do, which is you look you look in the mirror. You look in the mirror first, and you draw a line in the sand on on when you know what your potential is. You say, okay, I'm no longer going to accept mediocrity. And I need mm-hmm. to do something now. Nothing changes if you don't. So, uh, mm-hmm. and I think I think you kind of answered this already. But you know, what if they? What if? What if someone out there is like, oh well, I I don't. You know, money is tight. I don't really have the money to spend. And they can be making two hundred k a year. They might be making fifty k a year, but they have no extra left over. What do mm-hmm. you? What would you tell them that if they did not believe they had money to invest to begin with? I didn't have money to invest. And look, I mean, sure, like you might be like, okay, how? Like you don't understand my situation. I got the bills. I got like this insurance thing. I got, I got, I got, a, I got, I got to have enough money to take out my girl. I really don't care about your excuse because look, it's, it's it, it was me. I, I had my, I had my best friend who I called up. I pretty much pitched him, <laughs> uh, but he didn't give a shit. I mean, he didn't really give a shit. He's my best friend. He was like, yo, whatever it is, I want the best for you. 
here's the cash, how much you need, and when you think you might be able to, make, uh, to, to, to give that back to me. And that was it. I didn't have the cash. So we're, 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 when, when there's a will, there's a way. That's right. But that won't happen until you answer those questions and right. you're sick and tired of like just doing the same thing over and over and it's just staying mediocre because like you wouldn't be watching this and you wouldn't be watching this testimonial if you're mm. happy and you know you're, you're 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 happy and ecstatic about whatever you're doing in terms of your results you wouldn't be here so let's be real <laughs> draw a line on the set get real in those answers write them down make them very clear in your head and and then go go out and just get the cash because cash is abundant oh yeah you gotta go, you gotta go into a different mindset of like I don't think that I have cash. It's like, if you don't have the cash, how do I find the cash? That's really the question. Exactly and, right. and if you're not able to do that for yourself, to invest in yourself, how do you think you want to like go out and live this crazy lifestyle that you actually oh, want? Yeah. Oh yeah. And, and the truth is those who think that way, it's like, how do they, if they themselves are unwilling to money to, to invest in themselves, how do they, their profits invest into them? Whether they're exactly. selling something that's 30K, 40K, 50K, 100K, whatever. It's impossible. Exactly. It's misaligned. It's misaligned. And, and the, last, the last thing that I'll add on to that is that it was crazy. Like, as soon as I invested and I started going through the program and started go, going through the, through the process and started having consistently more calls with, with my with my prospects, right? With again, we're talking thirty thousand plus dollar deals. As soon as I started showing up to those calls, and the way that I, because I invested already in myself, premium—not something freaking cheap out here—premium yeah. that just showed in my conviction, my confidence, the, the 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 again the language, the communication, the way I handle objections. Everything showed throughout. I mean, mm. it was just day and night. That's why I'm. I'm that's why you can't really expect to get fast results if you don't invest premium. Like, right. Again, I did the books, I did the YouTube. Yeah, I... You guys can keep doing the same thing. Again, you'll you'll stay where you are, and I I, I hope right. not. But that's why my my last sense is like figure out what's important for you. What's your biggest why? What's your urgency to change? Mm. And then you'll actually figure out a way to get that to get that cash to invest. Whether that's I don't know, selling your dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if there's a will, there's a way, man. I appreciate it. And, 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 and look like the Rocky movie. You can always buy your, your dog back. So <laughs> That's right. Just like Rocky. I love that. So I'm kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> I, I, that's funny, man. I, I know you got a dog. Anyway, so what, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. on the flip side, what if someone out there is already at the top of their game? They're already like crushing it already. And they were on the fence about joining. What would you tell someone like that? Well, that, that's that's where it gets tricky, right? Because when you're in the top of your game, you think you're good. You think you're elite. I mean, you, you are. So kudos to you. You really are at that point. At that point, it's really like, okay, how do I just refine my refine everything that I'm doing that I know that I, I don't have anxiety in terms of in staying consistent, consistent in my results year after year, but more of like a little bit more like, how do I, I add maybe another extra 20% or 30%, right? Because at this point, if you're, pay, if you're playing at this high level, it's, it's just like adding that little extra year after year. For me, I mean, I, I relate to sports, right? I love soccer. And to me, I mean, at least, uh, at least my, 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 my club, my Barcelona, FC Barcelona from Spain, it's not like, it, it's such an elite club, right? Players come in, players go, but I've noticed that year after year, at least for my club, it's always been that consistency and having everything in place, like the system. So no matter which player comes in, they have a system of playing, the playing style, the culture, the, the, the way that they treat their players, that no matter who comes in, <laughs> they just keep going up and up and up and up in their careers. So for somebody that's already playing elite, it's like, what's... Are, are you are you are you super satisfied in, in your entire systems and your entire frameworks and know that year after year you can add a little 15 20 percent on top of what you're doing that's really the question for that mm. i mean for, for I you guys that. at that point i love that and, and the truth is is like when you're playing at that level already you can no longer depend on just books anymore. youtube this is why the top athlete the, top, the highest level 
continue to invest because they know they need the tiny little tweaks that really make the biggest shift in their anything else you want to share um no i mean the last thing that i'll share is that I'm, well first of all i'm just super grateful that i came across you i came across uh, everything that you've you, 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 you provide and, and, and just super grateful that, that at this point I can also say that you're, you're a good friend to me. Um, and, and as I got, as I'm getting to know you is that, man, like people are just doing their, themselves a disservice of just not, 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 not joining, not, not because, okay, like the results, the results are going to get there, are, are going to be there for you. Obviously if you take action, but it's, it's, it's just knowing that you have that guarantee of a system that nobody can take away from you. Nobody can take away that, that, that thing from you. And you're, you're, like I said, I keep, I keep repeating this untouchable. Like you mm-hmm. become untouchable no matter where you go in your career. Your boss doesn't want to get like, he doesn't take care of you. You don't have a comp plan. Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, right. um, your, your girl or your guy, they're not treating you well. Fuck them. You're good. You're good. Cause like you, you're taking care it. of yourself. Awesome, man. Well, yeah. Christian, I appreciate you. Uh, I do. I love your success. I love who, who are you becoming? I love the results you've achieved, man. Uh, I'm so fortunate that you joined our program. So thank you so much for being on. And for those of you out there, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you guys later. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this interview with Christian and you're interested in getting results like him in which you want to build bulletproof sales confidence, have tons of that sales swagger, you want to close a lot more business and earn a lot more money, go ahead, click the button on the page and book a time with our team below and to see if we can help you do the same as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.